I guess this is going to be the first time that I am driving the trailer. But it is. She's going to do a burnout first, <laughs> and then we'll be off and going. are headed out to pick up our camper from storage. We are going to go on a camping trip next weekend, so a little over a week from now. Well, we'll be leaving a week from now, I guess. So yeah. but we wanted to go pick up the camper and kind of get it cleaned out from the winter, get it reorganized. The last time we went camping at the end of the year last year, we kind of just threw everything back in there, didn't really care where it was going. We're going to go get it up to par for our our weekend trips. Just because we are uh, planning a lot of big trips this summer and uh, we're just really excited about it and so we wanted to bring you along to show you how we hook up. And this week as I'm getting the camper ready I'll show you some of the, the things that I do to keep the camper organized and make sure that we remember to bring everything with us for our family of five. You know, we get all five sets of clothes, all five sets of socks, shoes, you know, especially this time of year when the days are hot and the evenings are cold, there is a lot of stuff to pack and make sure that you've got with you when you head out for a camping trip. And over the course of the last year, I feel like I got it down to a science, so I will share with you what, what I do. Not him. He doesn't do the packing of the camper. <laughs> But he hooks it up. We couldn't get anywhere if he didn't go hook it up and tow it places. Although there's a rumor that I'm going to try to drive it today. So we shall see how that goes. <laughs> we will see. Everything that I do, we'll put a disclaimer in there. I do it how I do it. <laughs> so maybe if you uh, have a better way, you can show me or tell me. Put it in the comments below if you know a better way to do it. But don't correct me because I know I'm perfect. <laughs> and have your coffee. Oh yeah, I do. I have to. I do have to have my coffee to be perfect, don't I, Ollie? Yeah. Yeah, I do. One thing that I do when we're getting to tow the camper after it's been in storage is I will come in and check and make sure that all of the cabinets, all of the doors, everything is secure. Um, because you do open your fridge doors on your trailer when it's parked so that you don't get mold in there and we have forgotten to do that before and it is really gross so don't forget to open your fridge doors when you put your camper in storage um, even if it's for a little bit of time. The time that we did it and it got really gross I think the camper was in storage for maybe a week so don't forget to open your fridge doors. But um, I come in and, and I check around for things like, um, are these cabinet doors closed? I'll kind of show you what I do as I'm, as I'm checking it. So as you can see, the fridge doors are left open here so that there's no moisture trapped in there and they look like they're good and dry. So I will go ahead and um, you have to flip the lock thing in, which is easier said than done one hand. There we go. There we go. So now those won't come open. One particular one that we have had a big problem with is the little um, clip on this drawer. That drawer actually fell out once and the ball bearings went everywhere. So I always check to make sure that that clip is still done on that drawer. So everything appears to be ready to go in here. All the doors are still securely latched and I got the fridge closed, which is the important part because you don't want that fridge door flopping around while you're driving. You can see we've got um, tubs in the sink, all this stuff, it's not gonna go anywhere. So we are good to go. Vents are closed, she's ready to drive. So now I'll go help Steve outside.
the current state of this bay is why we are bringing it home a week early so that I can get it all cleaned up. I am a organizational freak sometimes. <laughs> um, I mean, I am a slob with the rest of them, but like things where, you know, we're storing things, we're putting things away, all that stuff needs to be really neat. Everything needs to be labeled. Everything needs to be serving a purpose. So, um, yeah, that bay right now makes me crazy. So we actually lucked out in our spot a little bit. We have a lot of room to work with. We have plenty of room to open our slide, get in and out, get the trailer in because this really cool looking boat is a forgotten treasure here. And they actually purchased two spots for it. So where um, the end of ours is, you know, we're supposed to be slammed up against our camper, but we are not because we just got boot. So we're a little bit lucky that way. But one of the other things we do before we take off is we go around and check all the bays and make sure that they're locked and latched before we go down the road after it's been in storage. Just another safety precaution to make sure that Mama, nothing flies out. Them. What are we here to get, dude? Uh, camper. A camper! Should mommy try to drive it home? No. Yeah. No? <laughs> That's probably a smart choice, Ollie. <laughs> are you sure about this? <laughs> do you trust me? <laughs> I guess this is going to be the first time that I am driving the trailer, but it is something that I want to learn how to do in case there was an emergency or Steve was sick or um, something happened. So it is something I want to learn how to do, but I'm super nervous to learn how to do it. And like, how am I not going to hit that camper? All right, wish me luck, everybody. Are you nervous? No. No. She's going to do a burnout first, <laughs> and then we'll be off and going. So do I need to like take it as far, as far out as I can? Yep. Oh no, there's only two. There's I see another fancy escalator to you. <laughs> Mama, look oh, at that we're in a Dodge Ram. I'm nervous about this. We have a pretty big trailer, it's 33 feet. But we have a Ram 2500 and it pulls it pretty easy. It's a diesel Cummings. I'm being such a chicken right now. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for all these four cars to go by. One, two, two, three, four. Okay, now I go. This is be prepared to stop. Of course they had to start construction. Challenges. It's good for the first time. How did you survive that? I don't know. <laughs> I will tell you that my heart started beating faster when I saw that we had to go down to it. Uh, <laughs> the thing's giant. It's not a little camper. So I let Steve um, back it in because we have a big giant roundabout thing in the middle of our cul-de-sac so I don't I don't do that have you guys officially met Bella <laughs> she's so mad right now she's just sitting there staring at me because she's trapped in there and we're out here so let's talk packing the last thing that I want to do when we're getting ready to go on a trip is to be scrambling around trying to make sure that I'm getting everything, spending forever going back over and over and over the lists in my head. So I've tried to really streamline my packing process so that it's easy to just take off and go on the weekends. Even if it's spur of the moment, we just decided we're going to go, there's an open campsite somewhere that we want to go to and we just take off. So this is my process and I will explain to you what I do. 
the stuff that I use to do it and hopefully it will help you out so that you can have a better camping experience when you take your RV out. The first thing that I have is I have created a list um, and it's my packing list and I use it every time and I go through and I check off everything. So these are the items that I know almost every camping trip we're going to use them. And I'll actually link this down in the de description below. So if you want a copy of your own, you can get it off of our blog. I will put that down there for you. The first thing we'll talk about is toiletries. So these are a lifesaver. These are actually fridge storage containers, but they work awesome. The vanity in our camper is just the right size for these. They slip right in. The door closes, it's not a problem at all. Last year I was actually using this guy in our vanity, which I got from Target, and it was a little hard to close the door. I had to slam the door shut. Sometimes the door would pop back open, which you really don't want to happen when you were going down the road. So I transferred everything to these two smaller ones, and then I use this one under the sink now for big items. Um, so we have one for the kids. So I've got everything that the kids could possibly need. And sometimes mom and dad stuff overflows <laughs> into the kids because they don't use the whole thing. But we've got toothbrushes, we've got kids sunscreen, a brush, an extra wipes in case I forget to get those in Ollie's stuff, hair stuff, um, kids medication, anything that the kids would need while we were at camping. I am definitely a overpacker and I like to be extra prepared, make sure I have everything for any possible Thing that could happen so these are great for me and honestly some of this stuff I just keep it in here and pull it out from the camping box and then just put it back in um, if we don't have extras around the house to have one for the camper and the house we just keep it all in this this camping bin and then the next one is ours and it's the same kind of a thing I just pack it up with the stuff that we need on a daily basis toothbrushes razors face wash lotion hair stuff face wipes contacts, anything we could possibly need while we're camping, and then I can just slip this out of the cabinet and go. Then I've got all my big ticket items. So these are the things that I don't want to cook in the camper, but, or freeze in the camper over the winter time, but we need them when we go camping. So we've got bug spray for the dog, bug spray for us, way too many kinds of sunscreen, uh, after sun lotion, I even have some essential oils because I do have a diffuser in the camper. Stuff for ouchies, all that kind of stuff. And this one fits great now under the sink in the camper. So these two go up in the vanity and then this one goes in the camper. Like I said, I got this one at Target. They are still there as of, what, June of 2018? Um, these I got on Amazon, so I will link those in the description below as well because they are awesome. I love them. I use a lot of refrigerator storage stuff in the camper because it works really, really well. The next thing I use for toiletries and things is this little bag. I actually got it from 31, but I fill it up with bows for the girls because I love bows and we have to have them everywhere we go. So I'll keep a couple extra rubber bands and the bows in here. And again, we just kind of use this all the time, but it helps when we're getting ready to go camping because I can just grab it and we go. The last one for the bathroom is this little guy, which I also got at Target in the kitchen storage container section, but this is what I use for my makeup. It fits right at the end of the tubs for um, all of our other toiletries inside the vanity. And then when I, if I'm gonna do my makeup, I just pull it out, plop it out on the counter and I've got everything I need. I even stick my glasses in there because it's a good little container. This was a great find. I love it. It fits perfectly. And I think that's the biggest key is finding storage that fits your camper really well. So then you can pack everything in and get it so that it's easily accessible, even though you're in a small space and you probably have a lot of stuff with you. Oh, there is one more for the bathroom. And then I do use these little containers. This is just a little drawer organizer, but I put some extra rubber bands and things because again, it fits at the end of these inside the vanity in the camper and works really well to hold all of this stuff. All right, clear a little bit of space, but now we'll talk about clothes. Um, one thing that I do is I do not take anything off of the hangers. So if something's already hanging, I just leave it on the hangers and take it straight out to the camper. We have a lot of closet space in the camper, so we don't have to worry about not having enough room for it, especially for weekend trips or shorter trips. So I just take everything directly out of the closet, put it
put it in the camper and we're good to go. We don't have to worry about it. Pants and socks and underwear and all that kind of stuff that doesn't hang, we, I use these collapsible tubs. They are awesome. Um, everybody in the family gets at least one per trip, depending on the time of year. Um, in the winter, often everybody, or I guess I shouldn't say winter, I should say in the spring or in the fall when it's cooler, everybody probably has two tubs because the clothes are bulkier and a lot of times the days are warm and the nights are cold so you need both seasons, but we are lucky it is officially hot and we don't have to pack two kinds of clothes. So I just basically pack everything in here. So this is all of ours. We've got our diapers, we've got wipes, pants, uh, pajamas are down underneath here and we just pull this out plop it on their beds and pull something out when they need a change and then we just put it back in the cupboard when we're done with it super slick really easy to pack really fast and it keeps everybody really organized we do have I just have a tub of swim stuff so everybody's swim stuff is all in one tub it makes it super easy to grab when we know we're gonna go swimming I just grab this out find everybody a swimsuit and we're on our way so I do love these tubs. I mean, we use them around our house all the time. So when I discovered that they fit really well into the shelves in the cabinets, I was really excited because I could repurpose some that I had extra of in our house. So we love, love, love these. The other thing you have to worry about is shoes. This is a dollar store laundry basket that we use for shoes. It fits, we have a cabinet right inside the door, so it fits right in there and everybody can keep their shoes uh, in this one tub and believe me when I say in a camper you want to make sure that you always have your shoes organized because one pair out of place and the camper starts to feel a little bit tight a little bit cluttered so having a spot for your shoes is excellent and this also makes it really easy to transport them in and out um, when when we're getting ready to go so dollar store get lots of stuff there the other thing is, what do you do with laundry? This, I believe it was um, Walmart that we, we purchased that, but it's a purchase this at. This is a flexible laundry basket. And we have a quad bunk layout on our camper and only three kids. So we actually keep a couple of these on the bed, of uh, the extra bed, and just fill them up with laundry. But the, with the flexibility, there are other things that you could do with them, other places that you could put them. We have access under one bed where we can lift the bed up and put stuff underneath there. So that would be a great place to put your laundry as well. Um, you just kind of have to think through your layout and your floor plan and figure out what works for you to, as to where you could put your laundry. But I can guarantee you that there's going to be some place that you can put your laundry, even if it's under your dinette. Laundry can go somewhere. It's one of the biggest things when we first bought it. And when we first went out camping, I had no idea where we were going to put the laundry. Um, and for the first couple trips, it just sat around where it was in the way. But then I quickly figured out that, especially if we didn't have anybody staying with us, we could use that extra bunk and just put some laundry baskets on it and we were good to go. Okay, another essential box that I use. This is another one of those collapsible totes, but it is the charger box. This ensures that I get every charger that I possibly need. So the day that we're getting ready to go, I will just go around and as I'm unplugging everything, I just stick the chargers in this little box and then everything makes it out the door with us. Um, and I really like it because it's convenient. If we're going on a longer trip, all I have to do is just grab this box up front with us and stick it up um, in the cab of the truck and we are good to go. We don't have to worry about, do, does, do we have this charger, do we have that charger, any of that stuff. It's all with us all the way down the road. So I really like having a little box like this. You could even do a pencil box. That might be great for, for doing this, but this was just what we had, so I used it. And it's been a great, a great little container to keep track of all of the cores that we have in life. Last but not least is the food. Food can be a tough one to keep track of. So it's another one that we have a go-to list that we just look at and go to the grocery store and purchase all of the stuff on that list. And let me know here, this is a lot of food for a camper fridge, but what we do when we're camping with other people is we will split. So one person will buy the refrigerated food and one person will buy the dry food. And the way that it works for my parents, my parents can't quite get their camper before they leave. They have to pack all of their stuff in their truck and then take it on so their fridge can't be cold. 
our camper, we can get it. We have plenty of room. We can plug it in at our house. So we, our fridge can be really cold. So what we do is we pack our fridge up with cold stuff and then take it and we don't want, our fridge would not regulate the temperature very well with all of this stuff in it. So we split it up between the two campers after we get to camp. But let me show you what I do. So I kind of have a tub for all of the different types of food. For instance, this is our fruit and veggies tub, which we're overflowing on because we are feeding uh, seven people over the course of a weekend. So as soon as we get to the campsite, some of this stuff will go. But we have a tub for fruits and vegetables. And then I have a dairy tub, and these fit great into the, um, the small camper fridges. Um, this actually fits too, as long as it's not hitting a, um, one of the door containers, then it fits as well. Then I also have another one of these for condiments. So, and I, all of these things are on my, my trusty list so that I make sure they get all of them because a lot of them I have all the time. I don't have to get them from the store. So like ketchup, salsa, mayonnaise, uh, sour cream, all that kind of stuff. I just grab it out of the fridge and put it in a tub like this. Then all of our meats, <laughs> all of our meats go in, this is the drawer that's from the bottom of the camper. It actually belongs in the camper. So we just fill this up with all of our meats and take it on its way. The last thing that I do, well, I shouldn't say the last. I do have a tub of snacks that I bring and I just put it in our cupboard. If I have pantry items that I purchased just to go on the camping trip, then all I'll do is just leave them in the bag and take them out to the camper and put them in the cupboards or if we're running low on time, you can just leave them in the bag in a spot where they're not gonna slide around and you can pack, unpack when you get there. Either one works great. So I think that just about wraps it up, but I'm gonna double check my list, make sure I have everything packed up for today. Um, if you liked this video, if it was helpful, give us a thumbs up, um, even better, subscribe. If you wanna follow our adventures as we go RVing as much as we can, we hope that you found this video informative. If you have any questions or want to know anything else, how do we do this, how do we do that, be sure to leave us a comment below. I'll be glad to answer any questions. Maybe you'll spark another video for us. In the meantime, have fun and we'll see you on the trail.